was just from Alaska. Uh, just kind of documenting some of the stuff I've been doing as I'm moving forward on my long bed mega cab project. Anyway, uh, this video here is about the sun visors for the generation Ram. How do you take them apart and change color on them, change the light bulbs, things like that. Maybe fix a broken visor, uh, whatever. So hopefully all the information uh, was helpful. If you have any questions, please uh, send me a message and I'll answer the best I can. Thanks. Hello everyone, uh, Jess here. Uh, I thought I'd do a video on the third gen RAM sun visor because I couldn't find anything out there. There was plenty of them on how to take it out of your truck, things like that, but nothing about how to separate, take it apart. You know, if you want to fix something, you want to need to replace uh, the mirror, anything like that. Um, as you can see, I have one here that I've actually already disassembled. I actually recovered it. and. Uh, black headliner fabric, uh, same thing I'm doing with uh, my headliner, changing everything. Um, getting rid of this tan and from the Laramie and going with the black. Um, as you can see, there's not much to them, um, but kind of a mystery if you don't have one you're willing to kind of break apart and then get the details. So uh, I got these little nubs here that are all around that just pop in to these little receiving holes here. and. Um, that's pretty much the only thing that keeps it all together. Um, this section right here for your clip, mount it into your truck. Um, that can be a little bit of tricky getting it out uh, without damaging it. Um, but we'll kind of go through it real quick and I'll kind of show you what I've done and what's worked really well for me. Um, so I've got one here to take apart. And what I've found, um, what works really, really well for separating these is just a pair of uh, snap ring pliers. So all I do is just get a screwdriver and you get this seam, which is right here, which you'll be able to see. You just get a screwdriver in there and you might be able to get, get it to pop with a screwdriver. There we go, we got one to pop. And then just get your snap ring pliers in there and start popping things loose. And just work your way around the whole thing. Now you do have a bunch that are in the very back, which can be kind of a pain um, to deal with. But let's work our way all the way around this thing. There we go. So you'll kind of get to this point where you've pretty much got most of them separated. But you got the back ones that can be real troublesome. But generally, um, you get your snap ring pliers, put them down there, and get things to pop loose. popped right out, didn't it? Um, so, yeah, not broken or anything. Um, but generally, um, now that we got that, we should be able to pop it. Press the button. There we go. Okay. So if you look on the inside, if you're having some difficulty um, with this little pin part, um, you can see when it sits in there, it actually, those two little feet pop down in that little section right there. And it can be a little bit troublesome to get them out. Um, so generally, once I get everything kind of popped open about as far as I can, um, I'll just push a screwdriver in here to try to push one of these feet back in enough to get it to break loose uh, while you're pulling this out. And it'll come right out. So, got lucky on that one. It just kind of popped out of there. Um, so... Um, On this side, of course, you got your mirror and your light. Um, I wanted to change the light bulb. Um, put an LED in there. 
pop that little lens right out of there. Just of course, being careful just because it's plastic and these things like to break. So you can see the light right there, that little bulb, but you can't um, hardly get any tools or pressure on it to do anything to, to get that out of there. Um, but if we open this up, and you can see here, there's the light, um, which the rest of this is kind of melted plastic. They've melted it to, to pin it down in here. So you might um, try what I did. I used uh, my soldering iron and kind of melted that off. And I'm taking some pliers before because this is pretty soft plastic um, to bend it and pop this whole thing out. So when you pop that whole unit out, And actually take a look, you can see that there's so the light that just pops out. So you have to be really careful with some pliers to try to get that little bulb out of there. Because they're kind of stubborn. They don't like to come out very well. Um, as far as the cover, which goes like that, you've got these black tabs here on the back. Um, generally what I did is I just put a little pressure on them. You can see them move and you're able to pop the little hinges out from those little sections right there. Make it pretty easy. Um, but anyway, um, not a big mystery for the most part. Not real hard. Now this one here is a little bit different than this other one. Because this light looks like it's got melted plastic on it, too, to try to hold it in. So you might have to kind of melt those two little tabs there uh, to get that loose. Um, to completely separate everything, you got a little tab here, too. You pop the, those loose, those little wires, you can pop those right back out and pop them back in. Um, but other than that, it'll just completely separate um really easy like i said the, the plastic pieces are probably going to be the most troublesome part for you um, just because you have to put them all back in there once you get everything reassembled so whether that's using a soldering iron to melt some more plastic back down on it um you know hot glue gun something like that so anyway um pretty quick and easy um, hopefully it helps some of you out. Um, I could have used this uh, beforehand, but I guess someone's got to be the learning tool. So thanks for your time. Have a great day, guys. All right. Well, thanks for watching. That was the end of uh, part one. I'll be uploading part two here shortly. Uh, a little more in depth on uh, getting the snap ring out um, and also getting out the mirror and the light bulb. Uh, so just go ahead and click on the link and see part two. If you got any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you so much.